what's up? Today we are going to be taking a look at something called flow arts, where the term flow arts comes from, and a bunch of other weird stuff. It's only fair for me to uh, turn into Peter Paradox, the flow artist. <laughs> oh, hey, bro. Check out my new toy. You're so good. Oh, I'm going into flow. Oh, after that flow session, I really got to take a hit of my vape pen. Do you want to see the super top secret flow art I've been developing? I call it flow walk. Isolating it. I like to listen to Alex Gray while I'm looking at Spangle. That puts me in the right mood to flow. <laughs> Sorry, I can only obtain that level of higher consciousness for so long. Yes, I was making fun of flow artists there. Um, I do think there are a lot of funny tropes, at least in my community, that are just, oh, it's just so easy to make fun of. But I do it in a playful manner. I'm not, I don't hate you guys. I love you and all of your weird quirks. My name is Peter Paradox. I'm a performer and photographer in the greater Boston area. If you like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. So what is a flow art? What are flow artists? Flow. Flow arts usually refers to movement practices like poi, hooping, uh, contact staff or staff spinning, um, oh, boogang. I mean, there's a bunch of them. It has to do with object manipulation, skill-based props, um, which means juggling would fall into that category. Dance wouldn't though. That's like the weird difference. And the reason why uh, that is my definition is because of the way flow arts came to be. The person who coined the term used it as a marketing scheme. And I, I know that sounds, you know, I don't want to belittle the term flow arts because I, I think it holds a lot of power and sort of importance to people. Um, but that is what I saw in the early 2000s. So the first time flow arts was used in an online form was, and people might have different opinions about this. This is just what I saw back then, um, was it was being used on tribe.net. I would say the person who people attribute to making the term flow arts popular was Daniel Gordon Levitt, also known as Burning Dan. Burning Dan was his like nickname in the Burning Man community. He was a wonderful human being who had a lot of passions and tried to spread them as best he could amongst everyone. However, this is where things get a little bit tricky. So Burning Dan wanted to teach object manipulation, but marketing object manipulation was difficult. And around this time, there was a new emerging field in psychology called positive psychology. And one of the leading psychologists in that field was Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi created the term flow states. And flow states, I can read, flow is the mental state where a person performing an activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Flow is the complete absorption in what one does. That's Mihai's definition. That came directly from flow state, state of optimal experience. Um, it is one of his published works. So this is where you're just gonna have to trust me because Flow Temple doesn't exist anymore. But I did research on it years ago and I'm pulling that research from my Google Drives in order to get this paragraph. Um, but on the Flow Temple website, it said this, slow is the state of optimal experience that occurs when your body, mind, and spirit are in dynamic balance. It's what's happening when the now is so compelling that everything else fades away. Ego and fear dissolve in a perfect moment. Time slows down and whatever you're doing becomes a meditation. Flow ties the fine line between controlling your actions and obeying your commands you know when you're in the flow, and flowing is half the battle. 
now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Flow Temple. So if you were to look at the Flow Temple website in that specific paragraph, and then read Mihai's work, which he spent 20 years of his life developing, um, one, one could say that Flow Temple borrowed heavily, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's where Flow comes from, and it was originally used to just market object manipulation. When I was a flow artist, uh, we were using the term flow as its original intention. Um, we were saying like, oh, I, I hit flow. I, I went out and I hit my flow state. Nowadays, flow artists, they say, hey, I'm going to flow. You wanna come flow with me? Bring your poi. The value, I guess, the like sacredness of the word has sort of diminished and become just a way of saying, hey, I'm going to practice. And that's fine, you know, like the term has changed over time. It means different things now and and I'm just old, I'm old and grumpy. Yeah, I, I think it's important that, you know, if you're learning things like poi, that we continue to teach the flow state because that can give us sort of guidance on how to have the most enjoyment, how to have that optimal experience. All right, so that's it for this video. There's a lot of material here. Um, if you think I'm wrong about something, feel free to leave a comment down below. Give me a time to meet me at my place and we can um, you can throw rocks at me. I think that's the only way that we should deal with misinformation these days. I'm gonna go play with my walk. I think I'm learning. <laughs>